What's good, YouTube? We back with another video. JBX tuned in and we in tune. We reacting to Jesse Lee Peterson versus a gay Prius and doesn't end well. He's gay? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 Wait. Two I read days. that and I didn't. I just read it. Yo, it doesn't. I just <laughs> read it now. Exactly like, I just read it. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. Let's just do it. That's crazy. Let me get past that. This is LSR family, right? Reacting to his channel. Yeah. Shout out to LSR family, man. But, like, so let's get to the video, though. I think it's LFR. I don't know. LFR, LFR, LFR yeah. This rapper is. Oh, okay. Feature. So, nah, no, feature. Feature. Right. Okay, in here. Good. We did this. <laughs> I saw her. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, listen. Do you think that human beings are in a fallen state? The show is called The Fallen State. Oh, I thought you were talking about the, the state of, uh, as in the United States. No, the fallen fall away. state. Yeah. Uh, no. You don't no. believe that we are, uh, that we are born absolutely, the, the, what is born in us is, is born whole, right? Pause it. And that, um, you Y'all believe that? What? What, what is, what's, what's he saying? Like, I don't really get it. Born in All right, so look, basically he's saying this, right? Jesse Lee Peterson, he's basically trying to, understand how can he be a gay priest if mm -hmm. homosexuality right, is right. a contradiction in the Bible. Like, it's not... Yeah, facts. Oh, so he's trying to find this out. He's just asking. He's, asking, he's, trying, to, he's trying to learn. Okay. You know what I mean? But it's a, in a way, in a funny way, he's trying to learn, basically. Right. Um, actually, it is, it is what happens to us after we're born that contributes to so our... You don't think that he would be a born in sin and which caused him to fall away from God? And no, I do not. Do you you don't think that they need to repent and be born again? I do not. No. Well, that's a pretty so it's saying that. Whoa. Wow. That sounds crazy. But that's in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. Oh no. <laughs> he said a whoa. Repent <laughs> and be born again? I do not. No. Really? Pretty, uh, no. So it's a Whoa, bro. But that's in the Bible. Well, this is like being a police fan. I think criminals should go to prison. Why are we talking about what you think? It doesn't make sense. It don't. Your opinions and all those other things. You are against the actual word of the Bible. Okay. I'm going to let y'all finish talking. I'm going to say something later. Um, is your religion the same as Christianity? or just Yeah. I'm going to have the Episcopal Church, the Anglican Church. But uh, you're, what you're talking you're talking about a thing called... Um, a thing? Uh, original <laughs> sin. Right. <laughs> Right. Well, the original <laughs> sin, you know, really uh, began with St. Augustine, right? Which is about 400 years after the New Testament was written. So um, Wait, that's a formulation he made, that's and it came from, from his own experience of conversion, right? Where he had felt uh, that his life up to the moment of his conversion had been a life filled with sin. But that was <laughs> in particular... It's not one of the beans, man. That How old just... are you? Uh, 68. So are you going to be, like, gay all your life? Or <laughs> <laughs> Why are you asking, like, that? No, no, like, question like that. That's a loaded question, bro. Bro, this dude, man, <laughs> I can guarantee you that all of his 
crazy years. That's he has insane. never been asked that question. And more than likely, he's not. <laughs> he's That's not crazy. So he's been from ever since. Hold on. Look at him, guys. You know, you can look at his face right there. You can tell that, whoa, it was going on in his mind right now. I'm like, bro, why did I come to this show? Yeah, I don't know either because you've been watching his show and you've been seeing people walk off time and time again because just like you they were unable to to to, to man up mm. um to their truth and and just speak what's on their heart and on their mind and and still be able to reason you gotta still be able to reason right. imagine telling a gay person man up though they're not going <laughs> they're gonna be like, excuse me <laughs> but, personally, i personally mm. believe that everyone's uh a hypocrite in some type of way shape or form i do but the difference is, a lot of people who come on this show, they they will not call themselves a hypocrite. They don't want to seem wrong at all. They don't want to seem wrong at all. Bro, you changed your entire livelihood, your entire life, because of what you claim to have been born as. Listen, that's between you and God. That's between you and God. I will tell people that all the time. That is between you and God. You have to answer to him. We don't have a no, heaven no. to put you in, or a hell to put um, a hell to put you in, or a heaven to put you out of. We don't have that. That's between you and God. Right. Stand true to that. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you need to acknowledge the fact that God's word don't change. The Bible has not changed. Well, yes, we sir. have changed it every now and again with um, denominations and yeah. different forms of the Bible, yeah. different readings oh, of the yeah. Bible, and different translations of the Bible, and all this other stuff. It changed it, switched it, and all this other stuff. I'm starting to think that maybe there's a gay Bible out there. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There just might, I ain't gonna lie. That's he might be crazy. right, though, because, like, a messy bro, a couple years later in the future, they might just start writing some fuck shit in that. I, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like they might do something like that. I don't want to say that, but... It makes sense. Because like how the world's it. going, making everything, you got, this is it, this is what it, no. Bible out there, maybe there's a, you are whatever you are, and God will accept whatever you are. That, that would be, be such a short Bible. Bible. <laughs> <laughs> because God has no Bible to speak on it. Because, shit. Leviticus. Leviticus. What's in Leviticus? That's a chapter in the Bible. I mean, um. That's in the Bible. Like right. right. numerous Genesis. Okay. Yes, it was one of them. Yeah. Because you wasn't born. Um, it's, it's, it's nothing out there. Like if you were to pass away today, and I'm gonna matter of fact, I will speak on it a little later. I'm not gonna start speaking on it. Okay. Exactly. Different. It's like it is. Exactly. Yo, pose it. He just exactly. be, he just compared being gay to being black. It's crazy. How? How do these people make this? Cause they, 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 no, 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 you're laughing, but this is. <laughs> nah, I know. They, 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 they do. Hey, bro, I'm telling you, bro. Yesterday, the, the video being gay is being black. Yeah, huh? They the said same. being fat is, the, is like being black. Literally, yeah. literally, yeah. literally, yeah. literally, literally yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah. This is like, like bro, I'm telling you, this is race. Yeah. They, they always this make makes race to their sexuality, bro. It's so fucking. Or to their body type. Yeah, like, how does that make sense? Like, Lizzo make it worse for black people. Like, she said, because I'm. Nah, no, don't even. Yo, cut that out. I'm not even. Yeah, you know what I mean? If y'all want to see that video, go tune in on the channel, scroll for that, because. You need to go get big so. or whatever the fuck, bro, and they revisit this video. Fault. Yeah, it might be something crazy. They're going to cancel you, gang. You're going to get canceled. This is true. Yeah, you can overcome it. I'm afraid that's wrong. What? He's insane. Oh, my God. That's insane. Wow. That's a pre-scene. Wow. He said, I'm afraid you cannot overcome it, not even by the, by the power of God? Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, guys. I don't want to offend anybody, so I'm gonna try to just shut up yeah, and just it's hard, man. continue to react. Andrew, Andrew, um, what's his name? Uh, Andrew Tate um, just now got completely canceled and banned for saying what he want to say exactly what's on his mind. I'm not I'm gonna stop saying what's on my mind. He's not being like all the rest of y'all out there. Not hey, what, what did Andrew Tate say? Like, what was his deal? No, he was. I'm not. Some of the shit he said was crazy. He was saying some wild shit. A lot of it going wild. Like what? I haven't, I haven't heard anything he said. Like, we, we won't see it. We won't see it after this. Yeah, it's all after it. 
But he, he, he wouldn't really He would say the truth But like to Cut it short They would show He was saying clips. some things That were true for sure yeah, But they, they would take clips Of some shit That he, he would say people, That's just and part of his paint it as like Oh this is him as yeah. a person As a yeah. whole And say oh he's doing this and that Of course, yeah. of course. I mean, he, he jokes a lot Extremely careful And, and, and say just what the, what the majority says What if he's not even a priest? What if he just like markets himself as a priest to make gay people feel good about being gay? He identifies as a priest, bro. Wow, identify? Imagine though, that would be insane. He's using the fact that I identify as a priest. You have to. He uses that as a thing. That's insane. What are your personal pronouns? That's insane. That's insane. (laughs) Priest, get this man, man. Priest, prophet, (laughs) priest slash prophet. Yeah. That's how people would think of. I'll be good. That's insane. <laughs> if what you are is bro, he sound a rapist. Like a parent, bro, he sound like a parent. Yo, listen to me. Right? <laughs> what? <laughs> We are supposed to do that. 
Exactly. Alright? And if we don't do it, we've already accepted our fate. But if we're all we've already made up our minds not to do it, then I think we should relinquish any responsibilities that we have that's leading other people to the promised land. That's just me. If we've already made up our mind that we're not going to do God's will, then guess what? If you are a part of God's army and you are helping lead and guide people so that they can become closer to God, I believe that you should relinquish your position, in my opinion, because you've made up your mind already. Dang it, man. I hope that don't offend anyone. Mm -hmm. That shouldn't, bro. If that does, that's crazy. Sacred resistance. What is that? Sacred resistance. He keep, I don't know. He keeps saying that. Like for open borders, and you just want them to come in. No, what we're for is for a just immigration service, so that uh, if someone is, I mean, it, it is a a mandate of international law that someone who is fleeing violence and asks for asylum be given a fair hearing of that for that for that asylum, right? And we're also asking for a uh, immigration laws where the quotas are adjusted where someone who is uh, you know to, to come in legally at this point in the United States okay there's like a, um, a waiting list of uh, I think it's even in the asylum cases they're like three or four five years behind schedule right so to come in legally in the United States the only thing that gets you in really is if you have a, a ton of money, right? Mm. The, uh, then you can get in, right? But our immigration system is broken at this point. Well, these people come in illegally. Are you for them breaking the law to come in as, as a priest and a, and a father? Are you for them breaking the law to come into the country? If, if someone is uh, fleeing violence... But they're not they, fleeing violence. How do you know? There's no proof that they're... Uh, Violence from Obama administration or uh, the great white right administration. Of whom you're referring, you have somebody. They're just running away. Them. They claim to be running away from gang members and things like that. You don't think but, that's what they're? You think they're lying? But they should be allowed to just come into our country. They should clean up their neighborhood, right? Because they're afraid so, of that. What is he seeing? Like, I don't think. I don't think you have to have resources. Mm. You have to have money. And you have to have support to be able to clean up a neighborhood, you know, That's especially a whole is. country. No, if you have countries like Honduras or you have countries like Cuba or you have countries like country, Venezuela yeah. where it's like, you know, there's communism, socialism, there's, you know, corrupt politicians, corrupt governments. It's much harder than just, oh, clean up the neighborhood, you mm -hmm. know, to, to no, fix such a large nation. So I don't really agree with that. I mean, I don't think Absolutely. people should just be able to come into the country whenever, but yeah, I mean, some if, type of talk sometimes there are situations yeah. that are, you know, extenuating circumstances where, uh, you know, maybe we can make an exception, uh, you know. No, 100%. Yeah, I agree. Is that what happened to the government? The government and the parents. Right. Well, the government seems to be incapable of doing it out there, and if your son is in danger of being murdered by a gang, you take him out of there. You would do that. But was it though? Like, I see what Jesse Lee... Peter Jackson is coming from. Yeah. So if you're gonna be that about one country, 
you're potentially going to be like that about like all of them. So yeah. then you're going to be inheriting their problems, basically. True. In in a way, because then like, look at it now. Look at like yeah. look, look at America. Like, feel me, America is cool. Like, it's great, but feel me, got it's his, not great. got his problems. Yeah. Like shit. They do like, a lot. Yeah, he, he's on the stance of it being problematic in the future. But I don't like the way he's doing it. The way his yeah. approach saying it is, is, is kind of crazy. To I me. feel like if they're going to try to change something, at least you got to talk to that leader, like make some type of an agreement. Like you can't just, just go over there and just, I'm going to do this. I, I, I like mean, some, the, the leader has yeah. to be the one. The yeah, leader. like to make some type of compromise. But like Miles said, it's corrupted politicians. Yeah, it's going to so. be bullshit because of the bullshit people over there. It's just, yeah. Like, no solution. Know? What's the solution? Like? Literally. Yeah. But now they're doing that here. They're bringing that same evil stuff here. And they're still killing each other, and they're killing uh, 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 American citizens. Where, what are they, they supposed to do now? Run to another country? What, what do you mean they're killing American citizens? These are violent gangs. No, yes, it is. Have you seen you uh, in New York and I South in New York, LA? Thirty years, there were no gangs killing Americans. Yeah. Um, MS-13, He's living in fairyland, uh, man. Uh, yeah, hey, we have MS-13 uh, out here, don't we? Yeah, definitely yeah. out here on Long Island. In Brentwood, right? Yeah. Maryland as well. So I'm doing my dash. Yeah. My dash is really bad out here. My friend in high school, he's um, Guatemalan. Yeah. He's telling me MS-13 is also, that's them too. Is it Guatemalan? I think uh, they're Guatemalan. Uh, what a bunch of shit. But like, yeah, he was saying, yeah, he's at MS-13, there's a Guatemalan gang to be out here, then you should tell me about them, like, they're crazy, hey. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're out in wine dash, which is like, not far from here at all. It's like a 20 minute drive. <laughs> But there's probably some MS-13 members out here. Probably. You know? But, whatever Jesse Peterson is talking to somebody... I mean, I know for a fact there's, like, a bunch of crazy people out here, like KKK members, there's neo-Nazis, there's MS-13. Nazi, damn. Yeah. It is proving a point. You know, a few... few Black Lives Matter. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I swear to God. (laughs) No, literally. A certain type of way. Uh, They're already super defensive. You can tell by his whole demeanor. Oh, he's sitting. Is, I'm so done with this conversation. Yeah. Like, I am so over this conversation. You've already tried to make me look foolish. Now so I gotta will. defend myself by by any means possible. Uh, have you heard of anything like that? I, uh, can you prove it? Can you? Uh, it's not happening in any way that I don't know because you're not paying attention, bro. You're not paying attention, and as a preacher, you should be paying attention. Right? You're not paying attention. Maybe you're speaking MS-13 and others. Boom! It's rampant in, mm-hmm. in New York and other things. Are you in denial about that? I, I'm not in denial. I but you're not being honest about it. You're not being honest. violence that MS-13. Are you serious? He's saying it's not rampant. Hang on. Let me finish. Go ahead. <laughs> the violence <laughs> of MS-13 <laughs> is actually perfectly on uh, its own members, right? No, you're talking about what goes on in Brentwood and on Long Island, which yeah. I live very close to for many years. It's not He's out here. You live close to Brentwood. You think he doesn't live in Brentwood? Gangs, they gotta go and do something to somebody. Actually, in order to be a member of MS-13, you actually gotta kill somebody. Damn. Um, from what I'm hearing, that's how it used to be anyway. And that's not oh. someone from their own communities. They go outside of their communities and they do that. All right. So this dude is being disingenuous as hell. Right, right, right. It, right. And I'm, and I'm not negating <laughs> that that violence exists. You are. What I am saying <laughs> is that it has been wildly blown, blown out of proportion. But it hasn't. It I have it no, absolutely I have, my brother. No police officers it, and others who are working with us. It ha- absolutely it has been blown out of proportion. I've seen it. Wildly. I've seen it. I've seen it. It has not been. It's not blown out of proportion. It's not really told so how it, bad it, it really is. Give me some numbers. He want to play it down so that he not have to be responsible for anything he's saying right now. I don't have numbers right here, okay. yeah, but they're killing. And so you're okay with them leaving their country, killing one another, but you come here and do it. That's a really dumb question. Are you okay with that? <laughs> you be a dumbass and do it. Yes, he 
Yeah. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Tell me your thoughts in the chat, y'all. My fault, y'all. We had little problems, but we back now, so we're gonna resume it where we left off. take uh, advice of people who know about about things um, uh, he has a uh, he is a, a narcissist and therefore sees the world only in terms of himself uh, he is, none of that means incompetent if you look up incompetent you're not going to see any of those things That's he's made point, so yeah. far right. you're point. not you are not uh, psychologically really damaged it's about what he think. It's about what he feels. Compulsive to put a wall up around the border to protect the American citizen. Is that is that mental? Well, I mean, he hasn't really done it. I think it's just a wall is going up. Is that mental? Have you heard the thing? You think it's a joke? But I'm asking you, is that mental to put America first? Um, you do, I think that's a good thing for America. Right. No, I don't think it's a good thing for America. Are you an American citizen? Right, right, right. And so, this dude is... Make yourself look crazy. Exactly. This dude is wild. Um, <laughs> he's, he's wild. Um, that's all I'm going to say. He's, he's wild. Um, and he's a priest. That's what you mean. Even worse. All you can do is laugh. Of course, you think that it's a bad idea to put the wall up around the border. Why don't you love all white people? 
Did he just now say he loved all people? <laughs> he kind of did that himself. All right. <laughs> To be honest, it's a little question. Like, that's true. Yeah. You like all white people? To try, you know. <laughs> you should clarify that, but uh, yeah, I go. He's, he's like, oh yeah, I love all white people. Yeah. Do I have a kind of blanket feeling of? Well, okay, let me put it this way. I guess I love white people the same way I love all people. But why don't you love all people? I just told you I loved all people. No, you said you didn't. All right. How is it possible that you can represent God and not love all people? My brother, I'll see you later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later. I'm weak. This priest is leaving because of a stupid interview? conversation. You keep saying things that I don't agree with. I'm out. Oh. Looking at my watch. Oh, I'm gone. That, was that, yeah. that was a crazy video. Well, uh, let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Leave your thoughts. Like, comment, subscribe, and we're going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace. This shit don't stop, nigga, carry on. They fell in love with my songs. Thought you was right, nigga, but you